up, you guys? It's Mary. And uh, you guys have to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. We got down down below, you guys, because today we are going to be talking about Nia Long. She is finally out and about. She is finally made her appearance mm -hmm. since the whole Ime Udoko cheating scandal has come out. And honey, she is dropping subliminals, which I really think she is trying to shoot at Ime Udoko. Yes. But she is saying one, she felt like the Celtics that they just did not care about her. It seems like nobody thought of her. She felt yeah. like it, this was a private matter and should, and should not have happened, mm -hmm. which I don't really agree with that statement because he did it at his job, and his job is Boston Celtics. And He obviously didn't think it was a private matter because he should have kept his penis private and, yes. between you and him. As he Melody would have said, you should have kept your penis in the household. So that's what I think about it, whatever, stuff like that, but I feel like she is kind of angry at the wrong I feel like I can see Ime It's Yuduku. always the case. It's I, always the case with women. We always, we always blame everyone else for our spouses, fiance, boyfriends cheating. Yeah. We blame anybody else but him. Yeah, I personally feel like, you know, Nia, she has misplaced anger. But I feel like it's because I can see Ime Yuduko being somebody who hasn't called who hasn't checked on her, no. hasn't even come to see the sun, hasn't even bothered to call her. No. I can see him being very callous, and she's saying, sending out these subliminal messages, which really is her trying to talk to him, saying, you haven't cared, you didn't think about me, you put your weenie out there, yeah. you did it at your job, I like you just, alone. I felt left alone, yeah. and all this stuff. Yeah. But they have officially split up, now it has finally even, broken, and yeah. she has found a whole new place or whatever and stuff. But I just want feel. Apology. He didn't even callous. mention her. Even his he didn't even mention her. Callous. Like he, he think like, about you. He yeah. talked about his family. Family could be his mama, daddy, and his brother, and his sister, yeah. and his son. Yeah. Because right now he, he didn't even mention he didn't the mention son. You. He called. Yeah. Him, you know when he said family. Yeah. I mean that's what it could be. But he could have mentioned you specifically. He didn't. Yeah. Because he doesn't care. So, he doesn't care. The fact that he went and he did this so callously at his job. Like you pooped where you ate. Just yeah. like TJ pooped where he ate mm. several different times mm. in his job at GMA3. Mm. It just was just so callous. Yeah. And like he just did not care. And I feel like that's what's going on with me. I feel like her man has completely checked out. Yes. He is done with this relationship. She yep. sat there with him for 13 plus years. Mm. Probably knew he wasn't, he wasn't shit. Um, and he just did not care. He didn't value her. He didn't value no. the relationship. No. He cheated on her at his no. at the job, and I'm sure he's not Beautiful even being Nia. a present. Who are you gonna find better than Nia? No one. Like who? Where are you going? Yeah. He didn't care for Nia. No, he did he didn't not care. Kept her waiting for how and how many? And she a looks decade. a little mad. She looks a she little looks bitter. Very, she looks. She, she doesn't have. I looked at her. She looks great. Her her buoyancy that she had. That, yeah, her lightness that, for yes. life is not there. It's not there. She looks a little bitter and a little mad. You know, I just felt bad for her because she still has to go to work because she's an actress. Yeah. Like still she said, she still mom. has to be a mom. You know, and yes, we can say all we want, but the thing is, when he did something like this, right, you can say, well, the Celtics should not have brought it out. Even if the Celtics did not bring it out, somebody else was going to bring it out. Yeah. Because other people will know. Of in course. the circle, they were gonna leak it. I out. mean, the husband caught her on a ring camera. For go goodness sake, he caught her talking about how last night was so good. Uh, well, I don't know what she oh, was what? saying. She <laughs> may have said something like that, but to know that she was cheating, she yes. must have said something. Yes, like you know, I I enjoyed last night. Or wow, I can't oh, wait I'll to. Oh, I'll see you later, Ime. And he's like, what? Exactly. But I mean, the husband caught her on a ring alarm. And I'm to find out was some executive's wife. Yes. So, yeah, the Celtics at this point, it's kind of like... And the thing is, you know, the Celtics, yes, you know, um, I know she said they brought her in like their family. You're really not family. You're not even his wife. His Honestly, he's his fiance. So really, your girlfriend. Who has been around for a long, long time. time. He's not married you yet. You don't know what yes. he told those people. Exactly. And you then know, he probably might have even idea, told him that you're no told. longer with, that you guys are no longer that may have been what he said during the investigation. Exactly. He, he, he may have been like, I mean, I'm not really, I'm not even really cheating because I'm not even with her. I'm trying to break up with her. You don't know what that man said about you to the Celtics. So they probably are like, we don't even want to call because we don't know what she's going to say. Yeah. And what if I tell her something, she tries to sue us or something. But the thing is also, like, Nia, the thing is it's not really 
it's their so, responsibility to so. call the spouse and let them know what's going on with your husband. Oh. Really, they probably told him, and he really should have told you. Yeah. you he should have given you a heads yeah. up and told you, honey, I've been cheating. I've been wrong. This is what I've done. Yeah. This is coming out. Yeah. I don't want you to be blindsided. I'm sorry. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever lie he got to tell you to keep you there. That's what he should have been ta talking to you about. But really, it's not for the sales to go and tell no. you. They just think about their job. They're hiring. They've hired him as yeah. an employee. Yeah. This and is not a family company. I can see it if it was like Disney Channel, maybe, yeah. you know, a cheating scandal broke out, maybe because it's a family thing. Let's talk to the family as well because yeah. we're all about family, whatever. Yeah. But it really wasn't their job, Nia. I feel like it was his job to let you know about his community weenie be out there in the streets. That's what it really should have been about. Yeah. That's what he should have done. So I just feel like she's misplaced anger, but I feel like and I he's not calling, he's not checking on her. No. She's probably feeling very left alone. She's feeling abandoned. She's like this person I've loved for 13 years. It's has, not even a friend. It's not even a friend. He's not even checking the call to see if I'm alive, if the son is alive, how we're doing. Yeah. I heard the son was very heartbroken throughout the whole entire thing, and that she actually had to actually take him out of school when the news broke mm. because everybody was talking about it. It's awful. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's bad. It's just bad. It's when really, when, really whatever bad. side you flip it on, yeah. whatever 360 you try when to you flip it something, in. When a, when a company, and, and I see this happen a lot of times um, when I used to work, when a company is, like something has happened, some scandal has happened, they like close and cover ranks, right? So they're going to deal with their own people, with the Celtics organization. And we are going to focus on that for ourselves, right? And Emi was already on his way out because they know they're going to fire his ass. I mean, so this yeah. little suspension indefinitely, it's really a firing that they're not really saying a firing. You fire. Indefinitely. You don't lose your job. <laughs> you, don't you know lose what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the other thing, remember when some of the coaches came out crying? I mean, I thought it was some crazy stuff this man done did to many women. Yeah. And they were crying and saying how, you know, a lot of... There's a lot of heartbreak here, and and you know a lot of the women they're they're really going through a lot, you know, and they have to like you know they're questioning a lot of things. I was just like, what happened? You know what I'm you saying? You would thought he so went and raped right, several women at the that's job. That's what I thought. I thought it was something. They he then he beat them and stuff like that. So at that point, really, they're thinking about their employees. Yeah. The women now who are feeling like this bandit has been, you know going around trying to harass me maybe he was sexually harassing them yeah so they're trying to deal with that right they don't really want to call you because if they call you and open that kind of worms and then maybe you start cursing them out you know and say you know because you know you guys hired him who was this woman you know they can't give you any answers because if they go and they call when they call you to say Nia I'm just calling to see that you're okay yeah. They don't want you asking them the question, who was this woman? I heard she worked for so-and-so. She was a travel agent. And blah, God blah. forbid Nia starts cursing them out, talking about, I'm oh, my sue. God, don't you dare launch this. This is a private matter. Don't go say this. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to sue. Like, they can't call you Nia. It so is what it is. they cannot call it's you about, anyone. You know, this is about the coach that we have hired, putting his weenie, and somebody who also worked at our job. It ain't about you, Nia. No. Sorry. So I they mean, can't call you. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Anyone, yeah, you, what you want? The, I mean, they can. Not Hollywood. I'm maybe sorry. after they can call you, and be like, "We're sorry," or maybe send you a letter, or maybe send you a gift card, whatever. Let I mean, but they ain't gonna let you know beforehand, no. sis. Like, mm -hmm. like what you think? And anyone, and after the fact, they are not going to call you because, no, because they don't they're want cutting anything ties messy. with him. They're cutting yes. ties with him. So anything who come, who anyone who comes with him is collateral damage. Yes. Do not even open that boat. They will have been told by the higher ups. Do not engage yes and they if they violate their jobs they cannot engage Anyone i mean and he cheated a with a, somebody who was a president like an executive president, producer or whatever like, like you cheated with a higher up's wife you are dead to the company and so steven they talking about how oh you guys should not have put it out there this is a private matter it's not a private matter steven a because he's fired He's and, fired. And not only He's not coming back. It's not a private matter. It's not a private matter because he took his private weenie that belonged to him and Nia and he took it out there in the streets. So now it's in the streets. So now it's no longer private because uh, he could not control his flesh enough. Yes. Have some kind of damn dignity. Yes. And control of his damn weenie. You yeah. couldn't do that. And so now 
It's out there in public. Have Do not we, look elsewhere. Yes. Please go find that Uduko man and look at him. Yes. Stephen A. Yes. And me along. You took your little weenie, you put it out there, you slapped it on the table at your job, and you decided that I'm going to participate and in weenie harassing behavior. Women, harassing women allegedly. Yes. Because those men were coming out crying. They were sobbing. Yes. About, you know, the women feeling uncomfortable. Just participating in weenie behavior. That's what you were doing. You were acting like a weenie at your job. Slaying your community weenie all over the place. Probably oh, well. your diseases as well. Oh, well. I know this was not the first time he cheated on um, Mia. Be. He had to cheat on her at least four or five be. different now times. Because that's why she doing. stayed with him for 13 years and never married him. Because this man was not someone she could feel safe. She could not find peace or rest in. Yeah. That's why the relationship stayed in one stagnant place for 13 years. Him cheating on you, Nia, was the best thing he could have ever did for you because it now sets you free. And I'm glad it happened publicly. So now you actually are not handling it privately and still staying with this with this bum, this yeah. dusty bandit. Achoo, I, wish, I wish that so, she I mean, was please. married to him so at least she could get something. But he, he wasn't going to do that. He wasn't going to marry no Nia Long because he didn't want her. <sighs> I wish she had married him. This is why you don't wait your time. You don't because waste not even two years, years if the man has him. not married you. Move on. This move on. If it's a high school sweetheart that I give you maybe four or five years. Yeah. Four years, actually. Yeah, because because I mean, school, even after you. are young. Exactly. Yeah. But no, if it's not that, if you're a grown woman and you guys and have been together, man, yeah. um, I give it a year, maybe two years. Really, it only takes a man a year to know if he wants to marry you. It does not take a man no five, six, seven, eight years. If that man's not established and you want to sit down there and help him build, then you can do that. But best believe, when he stands on your neck and he has drained the life out of you, best believe he's going to go to his preference and he'll be leaving you alone. Hello. And he'll be taking his riches with him and you'll be sitting down there with probably not even a ring or money or any anything to rub together when that relationship's over so no do not sit down here and help no man build it's dumb yeah and um <laughs> and uh if you know she's building what 13 years you said so if she had been married to him for like at least 10 of those years by now she would be able to get some money but he wasn't gonna give her and that some child support he wasn't gonna give her that this is why that's why he didn't marry her because he knew he was cheating he, he knew he was slanging weenie oh my God. and if he had married her he would have had to pay the price he would have had to pay the piper oh lord of mercy i mean time I'm, wasted i feel money bad that she could be getting this show is all about prevention this is why we talk with so much passion <laughs> so we are so we're talking to the young women who watch our show yes to not let this happen to you that's why we talk with passion but yes. i mean when you're already in the situation all we can do is pray for you mm. but if you are a young woman and you are with some dust ball who like it's not Shida worth your Bilal time in yes fiance. if you're with some that's dust ball and you can get out of the situation mm. then do yeah don't waste your time who um, but it is mary and um um we invite y'all to like <laughs> share subscribe and comment down below let thank, us know yes thank y'all for watching <laughs> bye bye <laughs>